All right, here we go. Hurricane Chris, welcome What's back happened? to Vlad TV. What it do? Yeah, this is actually our first time face to face with each other. Yeah, I see after that. all these years, I thought you was a, a fake person. Uh, I wasn't real. Yeah, I was just that, AI. I thought they made you up, bro. <laughs> but you know, they can actually do my voice AI now. So you know, after I'm gone, you'll still see Vlad TV interviews. So this still might not be the real. You. It might not be the real me. <laughs> <laughs> Get it out. Well, I mean, we're joking around right now, but a few minutes ago, we actually got some devastating news. Yeah, bro, it's fucked up. Uh -huh. Rich. Tommy Kwan has passed away at age 34. I don't even want to believe this shit right now. Like, I don't even want to say the words rest in peace because I'm I'm having a hard time even accepting this shit, bro. I just did a show with him three weeks ago. Like, uh. we performed on the same stage and I, I actually came back to watch his show, bro. And like, to see that shit, it's like crazy. Yeah, I mean, I did his first interview ever, really, in 2013. Uh, some type of way was just getting buzzing in Atlanta. I was out there for some BT weekend type thing, and yeah, you know, I hooked up with his manager, Fly, and uh, yeah, we went to his uh, apartment, you know, and uh, did the interview in his lobby. He's always a good dude, man. Always a good dude. We've done like maybe three or four interviews over the years. Always had a good spirit about him. Yeah. Good attitude. Never talked bad about anybody. Was yeah. happy to be in the position that he's in. But but they're saying it's over an overdose. That's some fake ass pills, bro. Nine times out of ten, it's probably them fake ass pills. Like, I don't yeah. knock nobody who do what they do, but it's too fucking dangerous to get anything off the streets. I don't know if that's the case, but it need to be said anyway. Like, yeah, this I shit mean, is fucked up, bro. If you're doing street drugs in 2024, you must not like living all that much. Facts. Like, you're gambling with your life when yeah. you swallow that pill that you got from your homeboy. Even if he said he got it from the doctor, like, don't believe that shit. If you didn't go to a doctor and get that shit as your medication, don't take it. Even if somebody's selling it to you got the pill bottle, there could be an old pill bottle they had and they putting new fake pills in it. Like you it's a dangerous game if you out here taking drugs. You gotta you gotta really like pay attention. Yeah, I mean I went back and looked. This is the fifth person that I've interviewed over the years that has died from a drug overdose. Mac Miller died at 26, Aaron yeah. Carter died at 34, Gangster yeah. Boo died at 43, Coolio died at 59. Yeah. And now Rich Homie Kwan is number five. And the last time I seen Gangsta Boo, I was at Drama Boy Studio. Uh. I ain't had nothing to eat. I ain't had no way to go get nothing to eat. This before Uber came out. I had got dropped off there from the airport. I was supposed to just be recording. Gangsta Boo gave me her food. Uh. That was for her to eat. Uh. She was like, here you go. You can, you can have it. Wow. That's Gangsta so Boo for you. That's my little homie right heart. there. I'm like, this Gangsta Boo giving me her food? It don't even match the name. But she a sweet person, bro. <laughs> Yeah, man. But rest in peace, Rich Homie Quan, man. For everyone out there who's still alive, just use this as a lesson. Don't take anything off the street. Facts, facts. You facts. know, if you if you're gonna indulge, make sure it came from a doctor. Fuck now, now I, me personally, I don't do pills at all. Me neither. You know, whenever I've had like little minor operations and they gave me Xanax or whatever, I just threw it away. Yeah. Because I just figure I'll just put up with the pain a little bit. And, you know, maybe take some Tylenol, but I don't want to get addicted to this. Bro, I got surgery on my left foot like six months ago, uh -huh. and they gave me Percocet 10s. I took them for the first five days. Well, the first couple of days, I wouldn't take them. The pain started getting real bad, so uh -huh. I started taking them. Bro, before I knew it, I was eating like eight of these pills a day. By, the, by like the fifth, sixth day of taking them, I couldn't even have a bowel movement. Huh. I damn near went two days without using the bathroom, bro. I started taking laxatives, laxatives, liquid laxatives, pill laxatives, just to try to use the restroom, and this shit was not happening. Mm. I got to the point where I told my old lady, bro, I'm finna go to the emergency room if I don't mm. use the fucking bathroom. I never took them shits again. The rest of them that was in that fucking bottle, I left them right there. The doctor wrote another prescription for them. I told him, I'm not taking that shit. Yeah, I remember when I interviewed uh, Jay the Youngin, and, uh, you know, this has been out for a while. In the middle of the interview, he was like, yo, man, I I'm too high off these perks. And he, he walks out and he throws up. You know, I mean, every, every great athlete has a trainer. I need some water, eh, so. No problem. It's good if I walk out real quick? Uh, yeah, if you want to. 
I need to kiss my ass too. All right, man, we back. Um, yeah. You know, I guess I guess you just had a moment. Yeah, I had to say that. You okay, man? Yeah, bro, I'm good now. What, what What do you think? What do you think triggered that that type of emotion? I, mean, I just be having a lot going through my mind in certain moments. I just had to let it out. I mean, I just I get to think about the past a lot, so I just. It fucked me up. I mean, but you know, everybody had their moments. Real niggas cry. I seen the interview. Hold on, no, 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 no. I may have seen well, the interview. That part we didn't show, but we have the audio of it. Okay, right? well, I he, didn't he, see he it. threw up. He did it in somebody else. Didn't didn't somebody? Damn, who damn that passed out in the interview? Like fail type shit. Yeah, no. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. It's someone else. Okay, all right. It's someone else. But no, nah, right. he uh, he threw up, and then uh, he started crying. He started talking about how no one really loves him and everything else like that. Like, we never put this part out because right. we didn't want to embarrass him. Right. But he came back after the interview. We kind of talked about it a little bit. But man, perks Bro, and know, all he, that. Um, he had caught a charge, I think, with some drink. Yeah. And... and, and he had hit me up a long time ago, like after he caught the charge, like just trying to see what was gonna happen with the drink charge. Like I was running it with him and huh. just trying to help him with how to deal with that shit legally. Yeah, I mean, you actually said that you blamed the Louisiana court system on his death because he couldn't leave because he yeah. was on house arrest. Yeah. I mean, but you can't really blame the court system for that. I mean, he got in trouble. But it need to be some type of stipulation that if your life is in danger, you know what I'm saying? That you you need to be able to vacate the area if 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 they know you and just like if they know you was a threat to somebody, they'll they'll put restrictions on where you could go. Mm. If they know people could possibly be a threat to you, then they should that should dictate where you should be able to go as well. Fair enough. I mean, he could have gone to a different area though. As long as he, he was in the state, he could go somewhere else, right? Or we have to stay in the actual city. Uh, sometimes when you when you get out on bond, the restrictions don't allow you to move out of the city that you on bond uh, in. Okay. Yeah, man. Another person I interviewed who died, unfortunately. It's fucked up. Yeah, man. My it's people sad. used to manage him. Yeah. Yeah. 